Hey everybody, Portland Chess Shop here to bring you the chess action and check it out. Haikuru Nakamura playing some chess. He starts out with e4 and queen h5. So that is Nakamura right there playing some wacky stuff in order to get his opponent out of the opening book. But Nakamura is the guy who does it better than anybody else. And that's the thing about him. So he plays very creatively. I'm stoked to see him back online. It is hard to find him. Here the bishop pins the knight. It looks like the bishop may trade for the knight. And the queen is out. And now the knight comes forward to create a threat on f6. The queen retreats, creating another threat. And this knight comes out. We may see g4. We don't. Oh, because the knight is hanging. So he has to defend the knight. And now his opponent has one turn to try to defend this square. Decides to attack the knight. The knight sacrifices itself. The king's coming forward, and the queen is going to be pinning this knight. Thus, g4 is played. So, go Nakamura. <laughs> the knight is attacked, and we see that uh, materially it is equal, right? After the exchange. I'm assuming that the pawn takes back after Nakamura takes. But in this position, Nakamura really doesn't have to take immediately, but he does. And the queen checks, and the queen comes back to block, and the queens get traded off which is an interesting development in the game. All right, so Nakamura is now down a pawn because the e, the e5 pawn fell. So Nakamura is uh, losing, possibly. I mean, he's down. There's also the bishop pair for purple, uh, which is pretty good. So in this position, I do think that Nakamura may be the favorite. He decides to put his knight on the corner. Knights on the rim are dim, but not when you're Nakamura. You can do things with them that other people can't. So it's attacking this c5 square. He decides to play b3. This bishop has some potential along this diagonal. It can reposition itself to cover a lot of squares, which is pretty good. So that's his thinking. But there, here's a break is made. c4 is played. So we can see a few different options. The one thing that Nakamura does have is that it's a you know a completely new position, and that's that's what he does. He th he feels that he thrives in uh, in positions that that neither player has ever seen before, uh, and he really does, you know. So playing towards his strengths. So here he develops the bishop towards the center, and this bishop comes to the center as well, controlling this long diagonal as well as this diagonal. So how many squares? This is a quiz. How many squares is this bishop covering? All right, audience, the answer is 14. No, 15. 15. Because there's 8 along this diagonal, and then there's 7 along this diagonal. So attacking a lot of squares, attacking this rook, clearly. So the rook may move. Oh, bishop takes a7 is a tricky move. It could, could be considered. Moves his rook over to g1. So the rook is on the open file. This rook is blocked in, but hopefully he'll find um, something to do with it. The bishop decides to retreat all the way back. It's okay because now the rooks are connected. There's takes, and I think we might see a king, but we see a pawn takes. So th uh, four pawn islands for white, and uh, technically two pawn islands for purple. Purple comes uh, to the center, attacking diagonally, and this pawn goes up. This pawn is pinned. And g5 is played. I could I could imagine g4 being played. Could be devastating. The knight is attacked. Will the knight have to retreat? The knight does have to retreat. And then g4 decides to check. Okay. And now he takes here. Rook takes. And then after pawn takes, he'll have check and takes here. I'm not 100% sure this was his most dangerous variation. But after he plays... He plays pawn up, and then the rook takes here. That's pretty good. The rook takes here as well. This is uh, he. This is also a check, and takes back. The bishop is able to take back. So international master uh, Darnick from the U.S. is giving Nakamura quite a fight here. Nakamura has two pieces, but they're not, just not as good as the bishops. King comes forward. The knight is able to take off the bishop pair, but now there's these pawns. There's less pieces to use. He does decide to trade. It is an opposite colored bishop ending, so I do understand uh, Nakamura's decision to go into this. I'm not sure if he can do it, though, and he, so he gives up. We are following him, though. Hopefully, he'll play another game. 
the game of chess is like a sword fight. You must think first before you move. 